Hello, Paul Hamilton here, iPads in Schools. Today we're going to look at an early childhood app called Magnet Letters. It's the one there with the ABC and the paw print. So let's open up and get started. You can see here that this um, app is actually like um, when I was young on my fridge, I had those magnetic letters that I used to make up words and spelling words and that sort of thing on the fridge. And so this is the kind of app that does that as well. Across the top, you'll see that there are some arrows in the bottom, and that basically just minimizes our toolbar um, at the top and the bottom of our app there. Um, you can see down the bottom left-hand corner, there's the capital A, which turns it to capital letters. There's the numbers, and there's the lowercase as well. So I'm going to leave it on the lowercase. I'm going to select a color from the top. I might go with green. And what I got to do with the preps the other day, I used this um, app with the prep students about year, about five years of age, is we created our golden words. So I'll press on, you basically press on the letter and drag it. Uh, we've got A, let's create a couple of golden words. And if I want to, um, if I want to do a different color, I just select the color first and I do my other words. T, H, T, just bear with me here, and A. And so I've made here three golden words, sight words, and I got all the preps to do this. Um, you can see at the top left-hand corner, we can make, by the up and down arrows, we can make our letters bigger and smaller, depending on how many we want to fit. And after I, all the preps actually made their words, we did a little jumble activity. So we messed up all the letters and I said, I don't think you'll be able to put them back together and unjumble them. And the students were really looking forward to putting them back together. Um, and so we did lots of little activities like that. To get rid of one of the letters, we just drag the letter onto the bin and that gets rid of it. And that's another activity that you could do. You could actually create some words for the students and actually get the students to finish a word and to look at what letters are actually missing. Um, so it's, look, it's a wonderful little app, fantastic for word building, sentence building, uh, a spelling program. And there's a few other little nifty things on this app too I wanna show you. So basically, um, oh, by the way, the capital letters is a good one to reinforce when we're actually making the names of things. So if you are a class, so if I was making the word Andrew, I know that that should actually start with a capital A, and so we encourage the students to select the capitals when they're going to use. A couple of other things on this app just to show you before I finish up is at the top right hand corner you'll see some tools. Can you see the little symbol that looks like a splat? When I press that, it allows me to clear the whole board. So I'm not going to clear that, but that just shows you how to clear it. And above the splat, the little cog, the wheel cog, if I press that, I can select a different background. So I might select the bricks or the tiles, press close, press close again, and that basically changed the background of the magnet letters as well. Um, once again, really simple app, but a fantastic an effective app if you use it in the right context. Great for preps, year ones and year two, and terrific because it goes, um, transfers well to the interactive whiteboard if you wanna actually model your lesson first. Paul Hamilton here, iPads in Schools, signing off.